Hey everybody, so if I fall asleep in the middle of this video, I have a, a, a good reason. Um, no, but we did get to, we had the pleasure of meeting David and Nice this morning. Yep. And um, long story short, we were driving uh, on our way to make a video for everybody and we saw this elderly gentleman loading wood into the back of a trailer and we stopped and gave him a hand and um, I'll share that picture with you now. So we helped uh, do that and then now we're down in Kodak, Tennessee at the Bass Pro. I'm going to go in here and see what we can see. Yeah. Um, and I don't know, just drive around. Just a beautiful day yeah, in we're Tennessee. Yeah, just, we're just taking you with us and stuff, so follow us. <laughs> Got the Christmas decorations up already. Uh, I love their Christmas decorating in here. Yep. <laughs> beautiful tree. Beautiful tree. Pine cones. Beautiful. White lights. Beautiful wife. <laughs> Fireplaces on. Decorated the fireplace. I had to point out these shirts. Santa Claus. U U.S. tour. It's that's kind of cute. Don't get your tinsel in a tangle. Yes, don't do don't that. Don't get your tinsel in a tangle. Whatever you do. Holly Jolly Christmas. Yeah. Believe. The North Pole University. Stephanie is a graduate That's of that. So cute. Even the bears got the wreath over there. That's cute. That's Isn't cute. It? A little Christmas tree here. Yeah, this is fun. I love walking through Bass Pro at Christmas. <laughs> oh, Stephanie's favorite. The well, Mountain Man Santa. Well, they do have a bunch of cool stuff here. Oh, for cake. Moon pies. Different, I guess, hot chocolates. Yeah. With the mixes and the sweet containers. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. This is a given. Every one of us got boxes of those wrapped up. And. With our name on it. The truck's really cool. Oh, the jelly filled. Look here, in the barrel. The yeah. jelly filled old candies. Called those Dutch, Pennsylvania Dutch old yeah, candies. Yeah, they got like a whole section here for Christmas. Fish with, that with little elf hats on it. <laughs> That's cute. Hey, on our next stop is at the Tennessee Distillery. Legend Distillery. I always thought this was a really cool building with their copper roof. Yeah, that's really sexy. And we've actually never stopped here before, at least not to my knowledge. I feel like I have tried moonshine from this place before. Maybe they have another location. Oh, but it's super cute. They've got good old rocking chairs. Yeah. And the wagon wheel benches. Looks like brewery and distillery so let's go yeah so they have I believe they have oops I believe they have free tastings I'm not 100% sure but I believe they do what's up <laughs> cool right <laughs> go ahead say I'm gonna pet that dog <laughs> I'm gonna pet that dog <laughs> uh, I'm gonna sell Stephanie to the wolves <laughs> Of course, they got the still in here. Not not operational, mind you. Oh yeah, it's mountain really, lion. It's really well decorated in here. It's yes, gorgeous. it is. Yes, gorgeous. it is. They got this old car in here. And then they got a dinosaur head above the tasting. Yep, which that's cool too. Right. We'll look look at that here in a minute. Yeah, are I got. Are you gonna show what you got? No, I'm not showing what we got. These are Christmas presents, so. There'll be no showing of any hauls today. <laughs> yeah, so now at the Moon Pie General Store, which this place is awesome if you've never been, we highly recommend it. Whether you like Moon Pies or not, they got other stuff in here. And, and this, they, that's a new sign. To the them. sun's just coming out. 
Yeah, for the first time today. Yeah, you did. They they also they also painted painted up there, so that's cool. There's a lot of cool moon pie stuff in here. Uh -huh. Yes, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood talking figurine. That's adorable, but it's adorable to somebody who's 30 who remembers <laughs> Mr. Like, Rogers. Like, and a changing, sweater changing mug. That's adorable. It's adorable. Novelties. And, and they even have... Bob Ross. Yep. Finger puppet. Paint some happy little trees. <laughs> Go get it. Too cute. It is too cute. There's a photo spot. You can get the Christmas stuff out. It wouldn't be complete if we didn't come downstairs for Stephanie to look around. Got a lot of books down here. And cheap, cheap on sale stuff. Lee's dropping. Yeah, he's fading fast. <laughs> it's early yet. It's, it's like, very early. It's like four. Yeah. But we're going to check out the Toy Chest Company. We've actually, I don't think we've ever been in here. Maybe. I, I think we've been in here. I don't remember. we got to check it out. But we're going to check it out. Hey, guess what I found? Hmm. What? CC's Pizza. I mean, uh, wooden pizza, the same thing. <laughs> now be nice. Yeah, you have to eat dog crap after eating a CC's Pizza to get the taste out of your mouth. Be nice. <laughs> And Stephanie says, be nice. Sometimes Lee isn't. We just found this. And I, I have to say, this is too cool. Magnum PI. Hey, Donna. And it got all the, the people from the show on there. Oh, Steph just noticed they have Knight Rider also. Too funny. I'm bringing it back. Lots of stuffed animals. And lots of puppets. And then we got Sani. I like this bear though. I think he's gonna give you a big bear hug. And this is all right outside the Three Bears general store. This is Stephanie patiently waiting on me. And they got nutcrackers and all kind of cool decorations, don't they? Yeah, I really like this place. It has a lot of um, collectibles in it and brand names. When they yep. also have um, some resident bears. Yes. And I guess they've been there for... Quite a while, as long as I know. Six, 16, 20 years, something like that. Yeah. The parkway is actually not crowded it's at all. It's very sparse, all. very sparse. Yep. Stephanie found a best friend. <laughs> oh, this is this guy is fantastic. I love bear decor. There you go. He's all ready for Christmas. It wouldn't be uh, complete if Stephanie didn't. Yeah, I gotta go look at the clearance stuff. Three Bears General Store. There's old Sammy. He's cutie for duty. He's an old timey <laughs> decor. Yep. Let's see this nativity. Oh, out look here, at right? the pumpkins. Oh, they're super cool. They are cool. Look at <laughs> He's the best. I love that, sweetie. Wow, that's gorgeous. That's really, really gorgeous. If you, if you like your jellies. We you, like our jellies. Yep. We, you, got a, we got a pantry full of jellies yep. right now. Here's the ice cream section. They have all kind of cool flavors and such in there. What's that? Gelatas. Ooh. Oh. Pumpkin gelata. That's... Oh, look at all the different kinds of cones you can get. Yeah, they're awesome. And more ice cream. Mm -hmm. And sundaes and shakes too, honey. Yeah. The caramel and candy apples. Oh, nice. Wow. Yeah, got a bunch of cool candy. Ooh, Papa Turtles. Yeah, oh, Papa not, Turtles. No joke. Oh, 
their s'mores. Yeah, the s'mores look quite good, don't they? You gotta love the bears. And the fox, how cute's that? You already have a bear. So they got an arcade up here. A whole bunch of stuff in it. Also have an old time photo. Really, really sweet. I love the outfits. Yeah. I wanted to show you the the sky is this. I'm hoping it's showing up on the camera. It looks like it is. It is ominous. Well, it looks amazing on the camera. But at any rate. Then it goes hot and candy on us. Yeah, boom, back here. <laughs> it's so pretty. But after a long day of stacking wood and and Christmas shopping, we decided to stop at Fuddruckers. It says good food inside, love. Yes, it does. Now, I've actually eaten at Fuddruckers before in Hershey, Pennsylvania, years and years ago. Stephanie's never been to one, so let's go in and check it out. So we're going to do this quick, but Stephanie got a strawberry milkshake. I did. I did. I've never had a Fuddruckers. Did I say that right? Yep, Fuddruckers. Fuddruckers. You got to be careful. A tongue Rud, twister. Rudd. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then I got a chocolate milkshake. Is that where that came from, honey? I don't know, but. Uh, no pig Latin today. No. So my burger just came out. It's a cheddar cheeseburger. I had a medium done with it. It's a half or a half a pound. It's a half a pound cheddar and bacon. And apparently they're really new for their their rolls, which are homemade here at Bud Wreckers. So toasted, really buttery. We're gonna try it. I gotta go get my toppings yet. Right, so the cold fixings you put on yourself. I put pretty much everything they had over there. Pickles, lettuce, tomato. Um, I'm not even sure what that other stuff was, like a salsa kind of stuff, onions, and then their french fries and ketchup. So I'll let you know how it is. Okay, so what do you think of Fuddruckers? I really loved my cheeseburger <laughs> at Fuddruckers. I love my cheeseburger. I got a half pound. Mm hmm. And uh, with bacon and cheddar cheese, but you could pick what kind of cheese you wanted for a dollar twenty-five more, yep. and you could pick what kind of um, um, mushrooms or whatever you yep. wanted as a topping, and it was a dollar twenty-five more. So I got bacon and cheddar cheese. Yep. And then all the toppings they had dill pickles, sweet pickles. Well, I guess they're called hamburger pickles, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And then I'm um, I got. Uh, Banana peppers on mine. They right. had hotter peppers, but I just got banana peppers on mine. And um, tomato, onion, lettuce. But they had tomato salsa. Yep. Which was really nice. 
Um, and they had the onions diced or as well the... as, yeah, sliced. Yeah. For the different ways that people like to eat their eat their sides on the on the yeah. their and toppings. The, and they have a lot of condiments, ketchup, mustard, mayo, barbecue sauce, A1, A1 um Oh yeah. All hey, of it. Yeah. So Yeah. I I was so surprised. It is um it should be like a classic sports bar because they serve beer and um then they've got it like a dessert bar. And then um, and the toppings bar, and, and the the drinks is all you can drink, and the and a little arcade. Yep. It really is super family oriented, but it's also kind of sports barry. Yeah. Um, I dig it, and it wasn't that expensive. My no. burger was six ninety nine. Well, every so, or seven ninety nine. Yes, everything. Uh, tonight's total was thirty seven dollars and sixty eight cents. But um, it was t double that if you got fries and your drink included. Yeah, mine was like 13 something. So, and plus you got a shake. Yes. And I got a, I got a shake, but I just got the burger. I'm glad because I had to share his fries, yeah. which were very, very yes. good. Yeah, they're steak fries, not the nasty yeah, I like cut. I like the hand cut steak fries. Yeah. Yeah, so as you can tell for her first visit to Fuddruckers, she really happy. liked it. And, I'm very um, happy. It's been, I think, this might have been my third trip to a Fuddruckers, and um, and it was good. It was clean in there. Oh, uh, yeah. Everybody great was, service. Yep. Super um, friendly. The burger was cooked perfect. Clean tables. Mm -hmm. Yep. The tomato slice, if, if I had to pick it apart, the, the only thing that I could say was the tomato slice was like super, like not ripe. But I yeah, mean, it wasn't bright red. Yeah, ripe. not of course not the time of the year for that. So, but um, if it was bright red, it probably would be chemically bright red. So, <laughs> you know, yeah. shut up, Lee. Red dye number five, yeah, right? Right. <laughs> uh, so thank goodness this is all over, and I get to go home now. Um, we want to thank everybody for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, have, have a Stephen Lee day. day. That was if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.